Welcome guys, today we will be learning about voltage divider and current divider rules for DC network analysis. So first it is voltage divider. So voltage divider is used for calculating individual voltages in a branch where it is connected by two or more resistances. So let us see how we will do that. Suppose we have a battery and we have resistances R1 and this will be our resistance R2 so this is supposed to, let us take as E this will positive terminal this is negative terminal this is our R1 this is our R2 positive negative positive negative this part it is V1 and this part is V2 that is current passing through R1 is V1 and current passing through R2 is V2 so we know current is passing through us so first we will calculate to use voltage divider rule first we need to calculate the total current the total current will be total voltage upon total resistance equivalent resistance here it, both the resistance are in series so r1 plus r2 r1 plus r2 this is our total current now to calculate voltage through r1 that is v1 it will be I R1 in series current will flow same now the voltage will be V I R1 so it will be I value of I is E upon R1 plus R2 times R1 so this is the voltage that will pass through R1 now V2 this will be I1 I that R2 it will be E upon R1 plus R2 times R2 so to calculate voltage from any of the resistance multiply by total resistance upon that tatuta times R1 upon R1 plus R2 or the equivalent resistances so this was our voltage divider rule now we'll see the current divider rule so current divider rule works for resistances in parallel so let me draw the circuit first this will be something like this so here it will be R1 here it will be R2 suppose the total current is I this will be E I1 I2 so this is our basic diagram so to calculate first we need to calculate the total current that is total voltage upon equivalent resistance that is R1 parallel R2 so this is the total current now to calculate current passing through the R1 resistance the formula is R I1 is equals to total current into R2 upon R1 plus R2 so to calculate the current to the first branch we need to take the resistance of the other branches so this will be R2 R2 will come here and some of the all parallel resistances now for I2 it will be the same just opposite I R1 plus R1 plus R2 so this is our current divider rule and this was our voltage divider rule so if you had any problems comment below and if you did like my video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you